Why does she always go that way? That's so weird. So, I don't know what I am. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. I don't know what my issue is. I am thirsty, though. It's like what I was saying in my old videos, that um, just talking the whole time, it really makes my mouth dry out really, really quickly. Alright. Oh, God. Did I already say the poker night? This is the thing that my it usually pauses on or stops working on for me. It's really freaking me out. That I'm not going to make it. Oh, hi. What brings you over here this morning? Actually, I need to ask you some advice. Hi, Gabrielle. I wanted to ask you about something. Hi, Gabrielle. I was wondering if you could tell me something about a piece of jewelry I have. Oh, come on in. Is anything wrong? Oh, this is a really weird angle. Okay, um, no, there's nothing wrong, Gabrielle, but I opened my mailbox today and this was inside. It's a locket. It looks like it might be old. I have no idea who gave it to me. Ooh, it's kind of cute. It looks like sterling silver. It doesn't really look like an antique to me, though. By the way the kids in the picture are dressed, it looks like it may only be about 25 years old. Nice hairdo. No idea who gave it to you, huh? Well, it's not worth very much as a jewelry item, but the picture's kind of funny. Reminds me of a locket my boyfriend gave me in high school. Well, I guess someone wanted me to have it. It's a mystery. It'll be very fun to solve. Very puzzling, though. I wish I knew who had left it there. The envelope did have my name on it, so it wasn't mistakenly left there. Darn, I was kind of hoping it was a valuable antique. I have no use for a locket like this. I wonder who the kids in the picture are, though. You know, call me crazy, but... The more I look at that teenage girl in that picture, the more it looks like you. I mean... It may be a stretch, but under all that blue eyeshadow and those terrible bangs, it kind of looks like a really young Really? Version. That's silly. Let me see that again. No way, Gabrielle. I would have noticed that myself. Let me take another look. Well, I'm just saying it sort of looks like how I imagined you may have looked. I'm sure you never owned an outfit that ugly before, but the guy in the football uniform is kind of cute. Wow, it is a pretty crazy resemblance now that you mention it. It almost looks familiar to me, but I guess it's just from looking at it so much. Gabrielle, he's a high school kid. He's no older than my son. He does look oddly familiar, though. I can't figure it out. This is crazy. Oh, speaking of crazy, after the fashion show, I started thinking how I wanted to get back into modeling. But Carlos threw a fit and forbid me. He forbid you? What did you say? He hid my address book, and he put a password on the computer so I couldn't search online. He gets so jealous. I was wondering if you could do some detective work for me and locate the phone number of a modeling agency. That's a great idea, Gabrielle. I'll look it up for you, no problem. I'll call you today and let you know what the number is later on today. Oh, wow, what a control freak. Of course I will. I'll call you later with the phone number. I shouldn't have any trouble finding a modeling agency online. Sheesh, Carlos has some issues. I'd be more than happy to help you out. I'll call you later with the agency phone number, Gabrielle. Oh, thanks a bunch. You're a really good friend. I'll be waiting for your call. All right. Looks like I'll be looking for modeling agencies for Gabrielle. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I'm like super thirsty again. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen um, this quickly, but I guess it did. So weird. Browse web. I know it's modeling agencies that I have to look for. I really want to start making the other uh, food. Hey, you're supposed to be at Julia's house. You naughty boy. That probably sounds so bad. Okay, modeling agency. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Um, 
Um, should I call her? Apparently I can't call her. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's call Vincent. <laughs> I guess he's not picking up. Let's go back to Gabrielle's house. What a douchebag. He said that he would pick up if I called. Why didn't you fucking pick up? Lamo. Alright, let's go. And then I'll go over to Lynette's house. And I think they're gonna ask me to make them some chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Alright. What is this? Hi, honey. Oh. It's me. Actually, I need to ask you some advice. Hey, hon, what's up? Hi, what's up? Where are you? Well, I'm heading out to lunch right now. Okay, I'm still planning on making you your, f your favorite lasagna tonight. Yeah, about that. Uh, my secretary, Jackie, got into the medical school program up at State College. Uh, she showed me the acceptance letter this morning. Good for her. Why are you telling me this? What does that have to do with me making your favorite dinner? What do I care about her? You know how I feel about her. Well, I told her I would take her down to Depot Town for lunch at that fancy new Italian place. So, lasagna should probably be made another night, if that's, that's okay That's lunch, with you. not dinner, you dumbass. Okay, honey, no problem. I'll make it another time. Have a good lunch. What? You haven't even cake taken me there yet. Why don't you go buy her a diamond necklace, too? That's a disappointment. I was looking forward to making that for you. I guess we'll have to have dinner together at another time. What? Thanks for understanding. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I have another question for you, uh... Make it snappy, Dr. Clueless. Ask your question. Sure, honey, what is it? Got all the time in the world, dear. What is it? I want to buy Jackie a little gift to congratulate her, and I was thinking a bracelet would be better than a necklace. Are you Don't fucking you kidding me? Is this your strange, passive way of telling me that you're having an affair with your secretary? I... Th I think you'd better be kidding. It sounds like a congratulatory lunch is enough. It sounds like falling in love with her. Definitely a bracelet. Necklace implies romantic interest. Thanks, honey. I figured the same thing. I may have to stay late tonight. Don't wait up I'm for me. I'm playing poker with the gals tonight. You'll probably be home before me. See you later. This fucking douchebag. Apparently I should ask Brie for advice. So much to do. Gabby comes to the fucking door. Hi there. Did you find out anything about modeling agencies for me yet? I looked around, Gabrielle. I wrote down what I found. Here, take a look. Hi, Gabrielle. As a matter of fact, I did. There were a couple nearby. I wrote them down for you. Here, take this. Hey, Gabrielle. I found a few online and I wrote them down for you. I hope there's some help. Here's the paper. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to contacting a few of these agencies and sending them some new snapshots. It'll be quite a coup to have pictures of me wearing never-before-seen Daniel Fox dresses. Well, the years have not been kind to many of us, but there's no substitute for youth, Gabrielle. Most of today's fashion models are not even old enough to vote. That's true. Good thinking. You looked really beautiful at that one in the show. I'm sure you could get a modeling, uh, job modeling again. I just wish I looked half as good as you do. You always look like a model to me, Gabrielle. You are too kind, dear. I do look pretty good for my age. Look out, world. I'm coming back to the fashion pages soon. I hope you get a few nipples from those agencies. Let me know how it works out. I have to run some errands now. I'll see you later. Well, I wish you well, Gabrielle. I'm sure you'll knock them dead. I have to run. Talk to you later. I think the world is too superficial anyways. All those beautiful people in the magazines make me feel bad about myself. Nothing against you, Gabrielle, but the more I think about it, the less fond of traditional beauty I become. Alright, so... Lynette's house. Let's do this. I'm teleporting from now on. No time goes by, by the way, when I teleport for some weird reason. Okay, let's see how she and the demon kids are coming. Everyone's sick, apparently. That sucks. There's Lynette. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi, Lynette. I heard about your hospital ward here. Is there anything I can do to help out? Oh, well, I think I have everything under control. The kids' fevers are down, and they're all napping. 
Finally. So you stayed home to take care of everyone? Poor Lynette. Let me help. I'll bring you some chicken soup. My mother's recipe. I'm so sorry. It must be so hard to take care of three sick kids. Can I bring you some fresh chicken noodle soup or run to the store to get some OJ for everyone? Yeah, Susan called and said your kids were all sick. I wish there was something I could do to help you. That's really nice of you. I'll, I'll make some dinner before they wake up. But... I do have some work I need to do for the office. Listen, take a load off. I'll go make you some soup. You can count on me. Well, I would be more than happy to make you a big pot of homemade soup. Let me do it for you, and you can get some work done while the kids are asleep, and I'll bring it by later. Oh, my. Well, let me help you out, Lynette. I have a great recipe for chicken soup. I'll go which whip up a batch for you. I'm sorry. Can you talk right? Thank you so much. I'm really not good at asking for help, but to be honest, I really am Lynette, swamped. Lynette, 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 give yourself a break. You get some work done and I'll make the soup. It must be really hard to be a full-time mom and have such high-pressure job. you got to learn to lean on your friends once in a while. You're right. I do have to learn to ask for help or at least accept it when someone's offering it to me. Thanks. Okay. And I'll go see Brie last. But first, it's soup time! Open door. Oh my god, my back's killing me again. I'm really tired again. I'm exhausted, like, all the time now. Move! Get inside, you dumbass. Cook recipe special, and then chicken noodle. I think it's so interesting how chicken noodle is, um, like, the main, if you're feeling sick, that's why you eat soup. <laughs> Maybe it's not that interesting. I don't know. <laughs> this one's a little bit more simple, which is nice. Very nice. I dig it. do 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 <laughs> yeah, and it gives me, like, such a nice amount of time, too. I swear, with, like, the lemon meringue pie and stuff, it was driving me insane of how freaking difficult it was. Like, it made me really upset. <laughs> There we go. Awesome. Serve. Okay. Let's go give it to the Scavo so they can recuperate. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like, I'm just ready for the holiday season. Like, it's already, um, what's the date today? I don't even know. Um, the ninth? I think it's the ninth today. And oof, I'm just like, I'm already like somewhat ready for the holidays, but like I can't wait to... Are you fucking... Answer the door, you whore! Thank you. I'm just ready for like the actual holidays to be here. Thanks. Jeez, how hard was that? Honestly. Oh, hey. You're back already? Sorry it took me so long to make it back, Lynette. How's everyone doing? Any improvement with the kids? Still playing how nursemaid to the brood? Have the kids shown any improvement? Thanks for your concern. Porter and Preston seem to be feeling a bit better, but Penny and Parker are still pretty wiped out. I've been trying to get them to eat some toast. Why do they all have pee names? Well, I hope that chick- Oh, no, I'm sorry. I made that chicken soup, I promise. Here it is. I hope everyone enjoys it. Poor babies. Well, I bought you my famous chicken soup. It should make them feel better. Here's some chicken soup I made. It'll be a nice break from the plain toast diet. Oh, wow. Thanks so much. I'm sure the family will love it. It smells delicious. I may have to try it It's pretty myself. good if I do say so myself. I make it for my family whenever they're under the weather, and it seems to do the trick. It was the least I could do, Lynette. I know how hard it is to juggle a career in a big family. We housewives all need to help each other out one time, one another from time to time. Listen, I made that soup for the kids. You don't get to have any until they have their share. Jeez. Thanks again. You really saved my butt tonight. I owe ya. Mm, no problem. Mm. 
And now we are asking Brie for advice, apparently. Oh god, I'm so nervous about Poker Night. I really hope it works. Like, this is what I've, like, been waiting for all this time. To see if I can get past this part. I'm so nervous. Ugh, okay. But yeah, first I have to visit my husband for some reason. Like, I think, like, Brie sparked some suspicion in me. I don't know. Hi there. Come on in. Hey, thanks. I just wanted to chat for a bit. Hi, Brie. I won't take too much of your time. I know you're probably getting ready for poker night and all. Thanks, Brie. I'll be brief. I know how it must be hosting parties for us all the time. Don't be silly. Come on in and sit down. What's on your mind? There's a lot of sitting down to talk lately. Well, Brie, I received this locket in the mail today, and it's a puzzling mystery. That's what we're starting with. Oh, interesting. Let me take a look at it. You should let Gabrielle take a look at it. She's the jewelry expert around here. It's interesting. Here. I showed Gabrielle the locket earlier, and she made a comment that the young girl in the picture resembled me. You know, what I would have looked like when I was that age. Actually, I already showed it to her. Get this, she said the teenager in the picture looked like me. Funny, huh? Yeah, I showed her, but she told me it was pretty much worthless. I have something else that's not really gnawing at me, though. Really? Wouldn't that be an interesting twist? Well, I don't know. I don't see that, really. Did Gabrielle say it was worth anything? She said it has no real value, unfortunately. I have something else that's bothering me, though, Brie. Can you give me your thoughts? Oh, really? What's on your mind? Well, my husband called me today, and we had an interesting discussion. I maybe just be paranoid, but I have a feeling he's having an affair with his secretary. What gives you that feeling? What did he All say? All the signs are there. Late nights at the office, the young secretary, the buying her jewelry. I just never thought this would happen to me. He called me to tell me that he was taking his secretary, Jackie, out for fancy lunch. Then he said he was thinking of buying her an expensive necklace. He's been coming home late. He looks at me differently now, and Jackie is a bombshell. Well, I hope I'm not just insecure, but it seems like he's been spending a lot of extra time at the office. He called me today on the way to a lunch date with her and asked my advice on what type of bracelet to get as a gift for her. Well, if I were you, I would stop by the office unannounced a few times. Just drop in and snoop around to see what's going on in there. Information is power, and without it, you are wow. helpless. It's awful. I want to know. I really do, but I'm afraid to know at the same time. Sneaking around the office? Have you ever done that before? I guess I could drop in and surprise him, but it seems like if I let him know I don't trust him, I'm just inviting him to do something untrustworthy. You know there might not be anything going on, but you'll never know the truth unless you confront him face to face and try to catch him with his hand in the cookie hmm. jar. Well, even if I may have some doubts about my husband, I trust him. I mean, I stand by him. I won't resort to snooping around secretly behind his back, can I? You're probably right, Bree. If I don't want to take action, I'll never get to the bottom of this. Maybe I'll drop in on him before poker night tonight, sometime around after 5 p.m. Well, I want to just trust him and believe that he isn't cheating. I mean, if he is cheating, it would be so awful, but I guess I need to find out for myself. I'll stop by and check it out before poker. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit. Go get all private eye on your husband. But don't be late for poker night. I was waiting for her to finish that. 